Good morning, students. Welcome to part 15 of the chapter Coordinate Geometry. In the previous part, we have derived the formula to calculate the area of a triangle when the three vertices of the triangle are given. Now, in this class, we will actually apply the formula to calculate the area of the given triangle whose vertices are A, x1, y1, B, x2, y2, and C, x3, y3. Just uh, once recollect the formula that we have learned in the previous class to calculate the area of the triangle. It is 1 by 2 modulus x1 of y2 minus y3 plus x2 of y3 minus y1 plus x3 of y1 minus y2. Now here we will apply this formula and calculate the area of given triangle. Take this example. Calculate the area of the triangle formed by the three vertices A, 3 minus 2, B, minus 4, 5 and C, 4, 3. So, these are the three vertices for which you have to calculate the area. Now, if you locate these points on the coordinate plane, this is the triangle you have. Now, you have to calculate the area inside the boundary of the triangle A, B and C. Now, as you know, these are the given three points we have. First, you have to list the coordinates. You, have, you write the three x coordinates and then you write the three y coordinates, which is x1, x2, x3, and y1, y2, y3. So these two are the first co first vertex, and this x2, y2 is the second vertex B, and x3, y3 is the third vertex C. Now write down the formula. This is you just have to recollect this formula. This is a very very important formula. You, this is a 1 by 2 modulus x1 of y2 minus y3 plus x2 of y3 minus y1 plus x3 of y1 minus y2. Now here comes the important point in the solution which is substitution of the values of the vertices in place of x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. So let us write the values here and see what we will have. Now this is this. So, 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 because it is a constant modulus. You have to take the absolute value. x1, this is 3 of y2 minus y3. So, this is 5 minus 3 plus x2. How much is x2 here? This is minus 4 of y3 minus y1. So, this is 3 minus of minus 2 plus x3. This x3 is 4 here and we have y1 minus y2. So, this is minus 2 of minus 5. So, this is the most crucial part. If you can do this correctly, then the remaining thing is just simple arithmetic. It is a multiplication and addition, that is all. Here, the substitution is the most important point in this solution. When you simplify, you have 3 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, here the first bracket becomes 2. Then this is minus 4, 3, or 3 minus of minus 2. So, this will be 3 plus 2, which is 5. Then here comes the third bracket which you have minus 2 minus 5. This will become minus 7. So let us write the values here. 3 of 5 minus 3 is 2 plus minus 4 of 3 minus of minus 2 is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 4 of minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7. So 3 into 2 is 6. Minus 4 into 5 is minus 20. 4 into minus 7 is minus 28. So that is what we have here. So, 1 by 2 modulus of 6 plus minus 20 and plus minus 25. You should not forget to write the units here. As we already discussed earlier, you have to measure the area in square units only. Now, this will be plus of minus 20 is minus 20. Plus of minus 28 is minus 28. So, you have these values. 1 by 2 modulus of 6 minus 20 and minus 28. So, this is actually minus 48 plus 6. So, this will become minus 42. Now, here comes the use of this absolute value. What is the absolute value of minus 42? 42. Very good. So, now you can remove the symbol of absolute value. This is modulus. And you can write the absolute value you got by simplification. This is actually minus 42. And the absolute value of minus 42 is 42. Because area cannot be negative. Now, half of 42 is 21. So, the area of the triangle is 21 square units. As simple as that. You take the values of x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. 
substitute all these values in the formula, then the remaining thing is just a simplification. You will have to do three additions, three multiplications, and then you have to do simplification. You should not forget to take the absolute value of the value which you got in the bracket. So that is the absolute value where you will get always a positive value for the area. Now let us apply this formula to calculate area of a quadrilateral. Actually we have not discussed the area of a quadrilateral and we have not discussed any formula to calculate the area when the four vertices are given. But here the easiest thing is you can apply the formula for area of a triangle which you have discussed previously and we can apply that formula to calculate the area of the quadrilateral. Now just to let us plot these points on this coordinate plane. Then when you join these points, this is the quadrilateral you have. Now you have to calculate the area which is shown in the blue color here. To calculate the area here, as we know, when you join the opposite vertices of a quadrilateral, you will have a diagonal. Just by joining the non-adjacent vertices, you can have a diagonal. Actually, how many diagonals can you draw in a quadrilateral? Very good. You can draw two diagonals. Here I have drawn only one. Of course, you can draw a diagonal BD also, but it's not necessary here. Now, by joining the opposite vertices, that is, that is by drawing a diagonal, this quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. This is the important thing here. When you draw a diagonal in a quadrilateral, this quadrilateral is divided into two triangles. Now here we can apply the area of a triangle to calculate the area of these two triangles. One in pink and the other is in yellow. Now we can calculate the area of the triangle ABC by using our formula. Similarly you can calculate the area of the triangle ADC by using the same formula. Then you can add the two areas to get the area of this quadrilateral. So whenever you are asked to calculate the area of the quadrilateral, what you have to do is, you have to draw a diagonal or you can imagine that you have drawn the diagonal and you have to identify the two triangles which are obtained by drawing the diagonal. You have to calculate the area of the two triangles. Then what is that you have to do? After getting the areas of the two triangles, you have to find a sum. It's very simple. So let us take here, I am taking the area of the triangle ABC. So let us write the variables, I mean the coordinates as we have discussed previously. x1, y1 is A, x2, y2 is B and x3, y3 is C. So let us write the formula once again. 1 by 2 modulus x1 of y2 minus y3 plus x2 of y3 minus y1 plus x3 of y1 minus y2. Now let us substitute the values here. Now you have x1 of y2 minus y3. This is actually x1 is minus 3 of y2 minus y3 will become minus 2 minus 2 plus x2 is 3 of y3 minus y1 so 2 minus 2 plus x3 of which means 8 of y1 minus y2 which is 2 minus of minus 2. Once again I am repeating substituting the values is the crucial point here in the solution. If you can substitute the values correctly the remaining thing is simplification, that's all. Now this is minus 2 of minus 2. I mean minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus of minus 2. How much is this? 2 plus 2 which is 4. So now you have minus 3 of minus 4 plus 3 of 0 and 8 of 4. Now here you have minus 3 of minus 4 is 12. 3 zeros are 0 and 8 fours are 32. So let us take these values. Here you have 12 plus 0 plus 32. Once again look at this. This is minus 3 of minus 4 which is 12. 3 zeros are 0 and 8 fours are 32. Now 12 plus 0 is 12 and 12 plus 32 is 44. So here you have 1 by 2 modulus of 44. What is the absolute value of 44? Very good. It's 44 only. As you know absolute value will be always positive. So this is actually 1 by 2 into 44. What is half of 44? 22. So here the area of the triangle ABC is 22 square units. So one part of the solution is over. Now you have to calculate the area of the next triangle which is area of triangle ADC. Now here this will become X1, Y1 and D will become X2, Y2 and C becomes X3, 
y3. Once again, you have to write the formula. Now let us substitute the values. x1 of y2 minus y3 minus 3 of pi minus 2 plus x2 of y3 minus y1 2 of 2 minus 2 plus x3 of y1 minus y2 8 of 2 minus 5. How much is 5 minus 2? 3. 2 minus 2 is again 0 and 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So here this is what you have. Minus 3 of 3 plus 2 of 0 plus 8 of minus 3. 3 into minus 3 is minus 9. 2 zeros are 0. 8 into minus 3 is minus 24. Now this is minus 9 plus 0 minus 9. And minus 9 minus 24 is minus 33. So here you have 1 by 2 of absolute value of minus 33. What is the absolute value of minus 33? Very good. It is 33. So here you have 1 by 2 into 33. How much is half of 33? 16.5. You can write it as 33 by 2 also. But it is better to write when, it is, when you use decimal. So it is 16 and half. So it is 16.5. So here you got area of triangle ABC is 16.5. 5. Almost all, almost our solution is completed here. We got the areas of both triangles. So, to calculate the area of the quadrilateral as we discussed earlier, you have to add the two areas. The first area we got 22 and now recently just we got area of triangle ADC is 16.5. So, you have to add these two. Then you got 38.5 square units. So, this is how you can calculate the area of a quadrilateral using the formula for area of a triangle. You have to divide the quadrilateral into two triangles. Then you find area of the two triangles. Then you have to find the sum. Actually, you need not draw the diagram when you have to solve this. You can just imagine a diagonal. Then you can find uh, the areas of the triangles. Then you can find the sum. This is how we can apply the area of formula for a triangle when the three vertices are given to calculate area of a triangle and to calculate area of a quadrilateral. As usual, this is the assignment for today to solve these problems and then post me, to the, post me the answers. So here I have given two problems to calculate the area of the triangles and only one problem to calculate the area of a quadrilateral. So practice the problems that I have explained you to solve these three problems and post the solutions to me. This is a very very important formula. You have to practice this formula very well so that we can continue this formula in the next part also. Our next part, our next lesson also depends on the same formula. So you practice this formula very well. You solve these problems and post the answers to me. Thank you.